Which GPU should I buy? This is a question we get asked a lot because there are just so many options, whether it's AMD, Nvidia. The first thing you want to make sure is that it has enough VRAM. Certain games require certain amounts of memory, and VRAM is simply the amount of memory that's on your graphics card. Some GPUs have more memory than others, like this 5090 with 32 gigabytes, whereas this 5080 over here only has 16 gigabytes. Your GPU needs all this video memory to render your game, so if you don't get enough memory, you won't be able to run the game. Fortunately, most games only use about 46 gigabytes of memory, so a 12 gigabyte card is usually a good pick because you have to have a little bit of extra memory for just some spikes in usage and also for your operating system, which already uses some memory. The next thing you want to pay attention to is the pass mark scores. These are visible on GPU Sniper. It's gpusniper.com and it's really easy to see these. And we track all the pass mark and all the prices. Now, pass mark is really easy to compare because the higher the pass mark score, the better the GPU actually is. Now, it's true that the number of cores is what actually matters, but the pass mark is a good, useful estimate that estimates the actual GPU's performance in real games without having to look at all the number of cores, what the speed of the cores are, and everything. So it's really just a nice number that ties all of this together. Now, when you're buying a GPU also matters, because this 5070 actually is $50 below its MSRP, which is the manufacturer's suggested retail price. Best Buy is selling it for literally $500, and you can actually find these on GPU Sniper. GPU Sniper tracks all the best GPU prices, and this 5070 right now is a really good deal.